Okay, so today I'm doing a video on how to read news websites and watch news on your Android phone if you're using TalkBack and um, I'm using the i3 keyboard or um, I know MobileSpeak has um, some sort of keyboard alternative, um, but I don't know how it works, so I, I can't comment on how to use that. Um, and uh, I'm using TalkBack um, 3.0.6 um, or something of the sort. Uh, it's the uh, latest copy as far as I know, um, and I have no idea what version of the i3 keyboard I'm using. Um, and I have eSpeak installed, which is the text-to-speech engine that sounds a whole lot better than what's probably installed on your phone by default. Um, and so right now I have a custom little um, uh, home screen set up for this, uh, uh, this video. Um, and it shows on this screen, um, and I'm trying to get it centered in the camera, sorry. <laughs> um, three things. So to get to them, I can arrow um, up, down, left, and right through any lower um, half of my screen. So I'm going to, and it's very hard to do with my webcam in front of me, but um, arrow down. And I can use gesture search. Let's say I have a ton of applications on my phone, which I do, um, and I don't necessarily want to scroll through all of them to find my news applications. I can use this to just find applications that have the word news in them. So I'm going to tap once to select it. And you tap in the bottom half of your screen where this um, virtual D-pad is. And this pad works a lot like um, um, you have arrow keys on your computer when you're using them to command a screen reader, or um, the arrow keys like on a controller, a video game controller, um, and you tap to enter in it, and you can also, um, if you um, gesture in an X shape um, around this virtual pad, around the lower half of the screen, if you gesture to the upper left hand corner, you will go back which is like the back button on your phone if you have one that's not a tactile button and it's not easy to find and it will read it aloud. Um, in the bottom left hand corner will open up the menu. The um, bottom right hand corner will open up search and the upper right hand corner will take you to your home screen. So now I'm going to type what I actually want since I'm in gesture, um, gesture search. Um, and um, you will actually draw out the um, capital print letter um, in the upper portion of the screen, the upper half of the screen. So I'm drawing N, E, and it's not a very good one, W, S. So, um, and now I'm going to use the bottom half of the screen to arrow up and down and uh, select what I want. So I'm gonna let this start and it's gonna jabber at me for a little bit. Um, so it is able to read the <laughs> it is very able to read the titles of um, news stories, but once you actually select them, and you hit enter and you select them, it's not going to be able to read them, um, because it takes you to some sort of web page, um, that is not accessible, and there's no way that I've discovered to get it to open up in the, um, um, accessible browsers, um, except going through the actual BBC website, which you don't want to do for what we're about to do right here, which is access video. So there's two ways you can do it. Um, the first is I have my page um, set up. So um, right now it should be in the upper left hand corner, which there's a bar along that corner that says um, BBC News and then it says 
So I'm gonna actually just write that for you. Menu. Edit. Edit. Refresh. And refresh. Edit. Menu. PPC two. Okay. Pretty simple. So the one way you could get these videos and radio to show up is to select edit. Um, and then you're going to go and deselect everything but um, video. Um, unfortunately, you can't deselect top stories. So you're always going to have to scroll through that. And it's always going to jabber at you. So I'm going to arrow down. So actually it would be um, watch, listen that you would leave checked and everything else you want to uncheck. So that's one way you can um, select their video and radio. And it behaves very annoyingly. So now I'm back up to the BBC News bar. Um, and the other way I could get to it is by selecting menu. So if you want to listen to the BBC World Service, or if you want to listen to the BBC News Bulletin, um, with this particular application, um, it behaves kind of funny. Um, sometimes it's not very easy to get it to open and close, um, and the buttons to close it are unlabeled, so you're not sure if the application is frozen misbehaving or if you're just lost. Um, but the way you would um, stop the audio for the radio is um, you arrow down once, gesture down once, and then you gesture to the left once, and then you tap enter once. And that would be how you would stop it once you had scroll down to, you know, BBC World Service or World News Bulletin, and you tapped once to enter to start playing, and you wanted to stop it. But I'm going to go to the video section because the video seems to work much more reliably. Um, um, and the video is actually going to orient itself in uh, landscape mode, so I'm going to flip my phone into landscape mode so you guys can see it. And it's loading very slowly. Um, and this video mode where it's in this, you know, um, landscape mode, now the arrow keys, and my video is actually frozen, but, um, are going to be in the, um, bottom half of the screen in this mode, not in the usual up-down mode, okay? So I'm going to make it easier on myself and just hit the back button. Um, and um, I think my connection slowed, which is why the video froze. That's not normal behavior. Um, and um, you can watch their videos like that. Um, if you live in a country that supports it, you can watch a lot more videos. But um, here in the U.S., there's um, uh, not as many videos you can watch through their service. Um, so I'm going to go back to my home screen now, and uh, I'm going to do that by um, gesturing along like an imaginary X that's along the lower portion of your screen uh, to the home button. So. Okay, and um, now I should actually be in my main launcher, which is not where I want to be, so I'm just going to drag my finger right above the midpoint of this thing and drag it into the new one. There we go. Um, and now I want to use the ideal news reader, which is right there. And I'm tapped on to open it. Oh, oops. Darn it. I apparently become very clum clumsy when making videos. No. There we go. Pick me a few tries. So, now it's in the news reader. And I already have mine set up. Um, 
So if someone has little vision, they would be able to read this much more easily than the default setup, which is, you know, black and white 12 point text or whatever. Um, and right now I have it where it's yellow text on a blue background. And the way you would be able to set that is by hitting your settings button, which is either going along the X to the bottom left hand corner of your screen or using your physical setting button. Menu, menu, menu button rather, I should say. Sorry. It usually means settings. Okay, and I'm going to tap to enter for settings. So I'd be able to set those and, you know, and um, I'm going to actually switch into regular mode now. Or hit um, and uh, so you can see it better. Um, and the way you would change the text size is to use two fingers in the screen. Um, and don't know if this is under the camera anymore. And pinch out and in like that, which makes this text bigger. And I think that's about as big as it can get. Yeah. Um, so now I'm going to get back into navigating mode. Navigating. And I'm selecting of the categories, and there's a couple, and I'm going to read them out right now. Children and education. Cultural publications. Health. International news. Science and technology. Sports. And that's it. Science and technology. International news. Health. Cultural publications. Children and education. Business and economy. So I'm going to select that. New ideal news. So let's say I want to select that. And it will automatically read the first um, stories um, uh, summary uh, while it's loading. So let's say I want to read that story. I tap to enter. Web new loaded reading article. Web new. It's going to take a little bit to load, so I'm just going to give it a little while. Windows desktop gadget style of Windows desktop gadget start stop working. Windows can check online for a solution. To okay, this is my computer now. The program. Restart the program button. Check online for a restart the program button. Um, one second. Space. Cancel button. Pain. Okay. Webcam. Webcam preview. Webcam record. Start recording video. Click web stop. Stop recording and save the recorded video. Okay. So that was just my computer talking. So now we're back to, um, my phone. <laughs> um, and so now the story should be fully loaded, and to get it to read it, I'm going to go to the menu, uh, which is along an X again, and you're going to the um, bottom left hand. And um, so I want to read forward, right? So I'm going to tap to enter forward. And it's going to take a minute to start actually reading it. So that is how you use two um, semi-accessible to reasonably accessible applications to um, read the news on your Android phone. I'm sure some other ones exist, um, um, I just don't use them. <laughs>